Hey guys, what's Rick here to review my German Stahl helm. Now I've had this helmet for a while, I've seen it in previous videos, but I wanted to make just a specific video about the helmet. Now some background on the helmet, I uh, got this from my good friend, uh, he's a YouTuber on here called uh, Stevie Bleckley, and uh, he actually gave this helmet to me for uh, for free, and just that was really, really awesome. I mean. How often do you get your hands on a World War II German Stahlhelm anyways? So, but when I got it, it was in a pretty poor condition. It had been chromed in the 1960s, and then the original liner had been stripped out. So it was just the helmet, shell, and the liner ring. This is the original liner ring made in uh, 1942. And then the original liner was glued inside a hard hat. So, and this is pretty much trash. So what I had to do was I had to get a whole new liner system in rivets and install that. And then I painted the helmet using Rust-Oleum self-etching primer, self-etching gray primer, and then just flat iron spray paint. And it came out close enough to a Feld's growl. So, and I'm pretty happy with it. And then I put a reversible oak B cover on it. Right now I've got the autumn side out. So I didn't. I'm just very happy with the way that it turned out. Now this is an M1940 style helm. You can tell by the uh, rolled over rim. The later M1942s had just a sharp edge on here. To, and they did that to save production costs. And then it has a standard eight finger leather line. It's uh, very comfortable. It can be adjusted either by the drawstring here or by tightening the inside. In the back there's a series of metal holes and then uh, raised sections that uh, you can adjust. So it's uh, pretty adjustable. This one's adjustable from I think size maybe 54 to 56. That's it's pretty comfortable. And uh, mine, again, this is a replacement liner that I had to get. This has a just a plain brown leather chin strap versus where the German ones you usually see a black chin strap and I'm not sure why but it's a very very nice helmet and it looks really good with the paint job that I did on it and it looks extra cool with the Waffen SS Oak B cover on it. Again this is reversible for the autumn and then as you can see here from the front, you can see a little bit of the spring. So that's a unusual camouflage, but it actually seems to work pretty well from what I've seen. And the uh, thing about these stones is they're made of a uh, nickel steel. These ones are actually pretty tough. They'll withstand a 45s and buckshot. And so they're pretty durable. And then the shape is designed to offer maximum protection. And there's this flared rim right here to protect the back of the neck. And then there's this projecting visor to protect from the front and above. And then on the sides underneath the cover, there's uh, two vent holes that are stamped into the shell to provide extra ventilation. Now, a disadvantage of this helmet system where the liner is directly attached to the shell is that in cold weather, your head will get very cold. Whereas the U.S. helmets with the interior liner, it adds a little bit of a standoff from the cold metal shell. So your head will stay a little bit warmer. Uh, just uh, it's a very very cool helmet and again, just I'm really thankful for my friend for allowing me to get my hands on one of these and these are uh, expensive to come by otherwise and I just really appreciate that he would uh, give me such a piece of history and so I hope you guys like this video just uh, again it's a little short one let me go ahead and uh, put it on and model it really quickly for you guys So as you can see, that oak actually goes pretty well with the uh, Erbsen Muster. And you can see it offers really good coverage to the sides and the back. And uh, just making a quick video. Hope you guys like it. Please make sure to comment and subscribe.